guys, welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with the Beard. Now today, obviously, this is not a complicated thing. Any one of you can do this in an eyeball. As opposed to the nasty sandwich, this is actually a good sandwich. I'm not going to show you every one. That way I don't bore you. So I'm just going to put one together, show you how I do it. Maybe you'll want to try it. So the sandwiches, I'm going to make three today. Two of them are going to be turkey. One of them is going to be with Swiss cheese and the other one with Munster cheese. Not everybody likes Swiss, not everybody likes Munster. The other one will have roast beef, Swiss cheese, because I like that one the most. And we're also putting some bacon on it too. So what you do is, you, I, I already rolled out my dough. Now this will, make sure you put it, take it out before you actually want to start making a sandwich because Otherwise, it will get where it shrinks a lot. Nobody wants shrinkage. So you just load it up with the with the turkey or whatever you want to use that day. Like I said, I just thought of turkey because well, we all like turkey around here, and it is November first. So, turkey season's coming. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Thanksgiving will be here sooner than you know. And if you get the turkey cooked, have them cut a little, the turkey a little bit thicker. Otherwise, it shreds up so much and it can be a little bit of a pain. Okay, so we got enough turkey on there. And then we're going to put slices of bacon on. I will put three on each one because you don't want to overpower it. And then this one will be with the Swiss cheese. So you lay that on top of the bacon. I like to cut it in half so it doesn't squirt all over the sides or anything. Okay. So then what I'll typically do is push it down. And then take the, the dough and wrap it over all your cold cuts. And then you pinch it together. You do that with every one, put it down, so then you don't have anything coming out, no cheese melting out, just make sure you pinch it all well. And then what I'm going to do is to make these into personal bites. You can leave it like this and then put slits in the dough, that way it doesn't puff up all over the place. But what I'm going to do is cut this in bite-sized pieces, pieces right off the bat. That way you don't have to waste time later handling some hot dough. So then each one you're going to want to just pinch, push it in the meat and pinch over the dough there so there's no leakage. And then you spread them out on, the, on your pan, put it in the oven at 425 for about 15 minutes and you'll have a great meal. What I'll do is I'll just put up a little video when I'm done to show you what the, uh, the end result is. So that's cooking with the beard guys. Stay tuned for another one soon. Bye.